Good afternoon, my beauties. Surprise! Oh, and this guy too. But also, we have a new friend. This is Nathan, one of Nakai's friends. Of course, this guy literally knows everyone. Hi. We are all here to have some fun. Check out the new Mardi Gras tribute store because today is the first day of previews, which I'm always excited yep. for. And now, as always, if you all enjoy the video, <laughs> Other way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty, my beauties, let's go have some fun. Woo! Also, this is my first time documenting Nakai being at Universal during the daytime, not during <laughs> HHN. How does it feel? Um, bright. Sunny. Yeah. Not as busy. Yeah. Not as rock and roll themed. Yeah. Not as dark and adult in nature. I I, I miss yeah. I miss my horror nights, people. Honestly, those same. I do miss HHN. Of course, of course, I miss Nightmare Fuel. Still praying they come back this year. But also, in terms of crowds, they're actually not too bad today. Nakai, what are we about to do that you've been wanting to do for a little bit and haven't had the chance to? We're gonna play a walking version of Buzz Lightyear. Here's the thing, and I still have my qualms about this ride. If the tech they used was better, i.e., made the gameplay 60 frames, maybe had a lot less latency, I'd probably like it a lot more than I do. Wait, 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 Nakai, say that again. Oh my god, I love Megacon. Wow! Oh my goodness, we're finally here! It is kind of funny though, because today is the first day of Megacon, which, yeah, we I were gone, but, but I forgot to buy a ticket. Yeah, man, plus it is going to be quite busy. Like, not $40 for parking. Five minutes later. Well, Nakai, was it worth it? No. Just say no. Why else? Just, just say no. I was just confused. Like, what was I supposed to be aiming at? Bring back it? Shrek. I was just confused. I mean, did you have a good time? Not I really. mean, we both broke the top 10. Yes, we did. I broke 973, which is 400,000 more than my previous high score. I'm happy, but I'm also upset because I could have broke a mil at that point. The technology is terrible. I will keep saying that. I'm sorry. They could have done so much better with it. But also, no more HHN tribute store. <laughs> oh my god, that's so sad. You want to go to the Peacock Bar? <laughs> Say hi to David Pumpkin. That place was pointless. Yeah, but I mean, the drinks were good. I, I still have not gotten my Peacock subscription from Horror Nights. Yeah, you should probably go to guest services about that. No, I have you. Okay, but you still, mean, free Peacock. He has it too. I was gonna say, I he has it too. <laughs> Come on, let's go pay our respects. Yes, yes, <laughs> fear factor. You take that back right now. Fear factor But lies. But it still has the caution stuff. It does. Is that the adult thing for the caution stuff? Yep, uh, okay. yep, that's why it's there. For the viewers at home who don't know what this is, like me, uh, what is this? <laughs> Uh, you'll find out soon enough. This is the home of the greatest show in the world, Nightmare Fuel. Sponsored by Fear Factor Live. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait, move, move. Say that again, but slowly. I mean, it's all right. Oh my God. Uh, you saw it once. Yeah, you saw it once. Yeah. And you refuse to go back. But no, it's just such a good show. I miss it. Oh my god, I wanted to come back. So here's an interesting one. Mardi Gras tribute taking place in the Hollywood area as usual. But this time starting at the exit? I don't really know how I feel about that. But there's also the fact that there is a line. They're only letting a certain amount of people going in. That's very interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. Like it's not HHN tribute where it would be packed day one. It's literally Mardi Gras tribute. It is not that deep. Yeah, it's like they're literally having us wait in the line for a hot minute and for what reason last time i checked this was mardi gras tribute not hhn tribute hey you never know and in we go um, interesting okay this is interesting welcome aboard the ps songbird the most luxurious paddle steamer the south has ever seen built by the best for the best some songs by kids Four keys. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, so right away, we got camo going. The graphic itself, let me turn down the exposure so you can really see the colors. Yeah, that is cool. And it's black light reflective, interesting. This graphic might be the best one yet. We also have our new freestyle tumbler for $29. Yeah, would not pay that for this, but I don't know, the graphic is enticing. And over here, we have this interesting sweater. We got fans, socks, ooh, a blanket. Ooh, that's a that's a very silky blanket. I don't think, okay, that's, so this, this is the thing, it's a shirt bra, like, style on the inside, but, yeah. like, the top is terrible fit. Yeah. We got candles, we got candles, Mardi Gras scented candle. It smells like soap. It smells like soap, you say? Yeah, no, wait, actually. So no, but it's a very specific kind of soap. Now we go into the main room. Oh, boy. Universal Orlando Marty King. 
2024, huh? Oh, look at that. They got a Mardi Gras team member shirt. Honestly, good for them. Good for them. Okay, so here's our pass holder shirt, but it's interesting how it's that half long sleeve. It's cool. I like the graphic. Come on. It's going to start getting hot soon during this event, so this really isn't practical. This shirt, on the other hand, the yellow goes very well with the graphic. Yeah. This is a shirt that I would buy. The same exact hot sauces we've been selling since HHN 2021. I like the cup holders, the beverage holders. And look, since you said you might want to get another tumbler, yuck. I ain't paying for that one. That's like, I'd rather pay $10 less. Okay, now we're walking, we're walking. Oh boy. Oh, okay. This is an interesting room. Okay, this shirt I can vibe with for $30. Universal Orlando, beads or bust? Should we get this for Allie since she loves her beads? I mean, the amount of beads that we have over the, we have a giant vase for it. And we're probably gonna be getting even more this season. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, and look, we got beads right here. And most of these are the same beads we've been selling for how many years now? These are new. Banana beads, huh? And ducks. Ducky! Oh, there's also this sweater yes. style. Ooh, $60. Yeah. And we have hats, hats, hats. Oh my gosh, look, it's Ken's hat. No, this is clearly, clearly a nod to Ken. What in the world? So is this a rubber cup? Yeah. Okay, that is a heavy cup. I don't know. Oh, oh. Yeah. Five bucks, you won't drop it on the floor. There's this Mardi Gras hoodie. The graphic is cool. I think if this was maybe blue or green, it would look a little bit better. Into the next room with, whoa, whoa. I, I, um, okay, this, this is cool. I'm kind of speechless right now. For $30, I think mainly because I've pretty much shifted into a full-on heavy metal phase, I would buy this. So the crop top kind of thing? I actually do like that graphic. Oh boy, is this our pass holder candle? It's just chilling like a king, huh? So is this what a king is supposed to smell like? So a king is supposed to smell like King cake, obviously. For $30, we have the King Gator playing the banjo. Get a load of this one. Going down the body. Oh, we also have an acid wash. Okay, this one I would get just because it's acid wash. This one's a lot better, but also the flannel yeah, and that's uh, gonna work. 100%. yeah, let's see. How much is it? $75. Okay, basically a spare jersey. Oh my <laughs> goodness gracious. <laughs> what in the world is He's not that? very squishy, but... <laughs> but he very cute. Exactly. He got his beads he and a cute, crown. He a cute little King Gator. Exactly. I kind of want him. Yeah. I don't know. There, I mean, like, there's more than enough to go around, but at the same time, oh, I feel like more, just the fact that there's a whole wall, they're giving him the recognition he deserves. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's just a little baby. Oh boy, it's my baby. It's the case line. Oh wow. These treats actually look really good this time around. And they still got the bacon. <laughs> Two years later, and they're still rocking the bacon. Oh, this one's new. Chocolate king cake whoopie pie? I don't know. The vanilla one, like, I've probably eaten more of those than necessary. Do you want to guess how many king cake whoopie pies I've eaten? I'm going to go with 36. That's actually a good guess. I don't have an exact number, but probably <laughs> around there. Maybe more. Mini cakes? Whoa. So Whoa. Yeah, they're not really mini, but those, wow. I'm, I'm very, very impressed. And we got new macarons. We got fire, sun and moon, and earth. Oh my gosh, I love Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah, we just need the water. Actually, no, pro no, it's more um, Pokemon. Pokemon sun and moon. Let's see, and we got fudge. The king cake fudge is good. Marty party? Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Oh, wow. That looks very appetizing. Yeah. And what's that, Raisin Cajun? Oh, wow, you can already see some of the seasoning on top. We got a king gator cookie. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. That almost looks too cute to eat. Oh my god. Then the skeleton cookie. Wow, that is that, an intricate graphic to say the least. Yeah, no, that's the logo for this year. That is cool. Oh boy, and the chocolate dip s'mores. Okay. 
Yeah, that's a lot of chocolate. I probably wouldn't get that. I mean, it looks good, but it's a lot. And then, of course, the all-famous cookie dough balls. They've been getting a little bit too expensive. Like, in terms of our prices, let's see. Yeah, so $6 for a cookie dough ball when I believe 2021, they were either 4 or 4 50 when I worked at Tribute. $14 for the mini cakes? That is not a bad price. Like, you would think it'd be at least $20, so $14 is honestly a bit of a steal. Into the next room. Oh, boy. Whoa, luggage tags, huh? I mean, that's the last thing I would think of in terms of Mardi Gras merch, but that's cool. And oh, yeah, more King Gator plushes. Yeah, actually, I should find out how much he is. Uh, oh, 25? Hmm, well, I don't really have any Mardi Gras merch. Hmm, maybe. Oh boy, we got lighty up stuff. Oh my gosh, not the horns. Another piece of merch that we've been selling since HHN 2021. Oh my gosh, not the shutter shades. And these things are like so heavy and wonky and unnecessary. Okay, so over here we got a lot more of our skeleton friend. And honestly, he's kind of cool, I'll admit. We got a bottle opener. I mean, we do need a bottle opener. Instead of using the, uh, the scissors. Instead of using the scissors? <laughs> yeah. Here's our spirit jersey. Yeah, another one Alex I want. This might be their best Mardi Gras spirit jersey yet. How much is this? 75? What's on the front? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might have to get this. The only reason I knew that is because it's right down there. <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, that that is that is kind of smart. All the masks. Okay, some of these are like very HHN-esque. Like this one, yeah, that is very HHN-esque. Yeah, sadly, Allie will want it. It's cool. It I mean, it's is, probably expensive. Like... Whoa. That one, I love. That one's got to be so expensive, though. 60. Hmm, that is beautiful. Yeah, this, if the sweatshirt was a little bit thinner, I would buy it. This skeleton dude might be my favorite. Then coming through the final section, oh, oh, we got cannons. Oh, wow. This is, this is something. Oh, look, there's our skeleton buddy. I like his red eyes. Like, I know that's kind of weird. But wow, just all his artifacts and stuff in here. Like my goodness, this is a lot. Like this is a lot. They did a really, really great job with this one. All right, my beauties, it is a great time right now because it is tweet time. So you know what? We're gonna let Chris dig in first. Go he got it. the Marty party yes. fudge. Fudge, yes. How is it? It's not just chocolate, it's like grape. It looks like it'd be like something maybe tutti fruity. It literally tastes like, you take the banana, the, what is it, green apple, and then the, the grape, Laffy Taffy. Oh. We put it all together. Oh, wow. That actually sounds kind of good. Not a big one for a banana, but it almost tastes like vanilla, but it yeah. has like the, the taste of I was of like, if it's well. not like a fruit flavor, it's definitely something vanilla. Definitely like a Laffy Taffy. Now, in terms of what I got, we got the Sun and Moon, so I don't know how to feel about it, because first off, it looks incredible. This is probably one of the most aesthetically pleasing desserts I've ever seen. I think the first thing we got to do is try the moon. <laughs> Fondant. Sweet sugary fondant. Wait, no, how does uh, Buddy the Cake Boss pronounce it? Fondant? <laughs> You're not fooling around. We gotta dig into this thing. That's a chocolate shell, I think. Okay, okay. Yeah. If I can get the piece, like, my goodness. Will it focus on that? Oh, even if it doesn't, it looks good. It's not too banana-y, but it is good. This is definitely up there with their trifle cakes. Yeah, so far, I am impressed. Not just with the Tribute Store, but with the treats. Because if you know me, you know I love my Tribute Store treats. That's really good. Alrighty, my beauties. Just to quickly recap this vlog, this tribute store might actually be one of my favorite tribute stores to date. And that is definitely a stretch, given that you know I love my New York tribute stores, but honestly, at least this tribute store being in the Hollywood area, they made it work, which was honestly a total surprise. I was not expecting this tribute store to be as good as it was. So if you haven't seen this tribute store yet, come and see this tribute store. Oh my goodness. If I could rank it out of 10, I would give it probably a good 8.5. If they had put this tribute store in the New York area, it would get an absolute 10. Looking back at all this footage, I am definitely satisfied with this one. But that is going to wrap it up for this little vlog. So as always, we do this every single week. So make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Alrighty, my beauties. I love y'all. Take care, and I'll see y'all next time.